Stephanie Woodard. This is the mugshot of someone who knows that they effed up. After hearing Stephanie Woodard had her booking photo taken at the Hall County Jail, then released on her own recognizance. She's accused of false expense reports and illegal purchases, a pillow and pillowcase from Target, an SAT prep course, cremating a dog. All right, we're back in Georgia, this time with Stephanie Woodard, the Hall County Solicitor General, who just said, to hell with this victim's fund. I'm going to spend this money meant for crime victims. I'm going to spend it on myself. All right. And I'm going to get so stupid with it. I'm going to spend it on the most frivolous things that you've ever heard of. Not that cremating your dog is frivolous, but you should pay for that yourself. Yes. She used public money, money allocated for the victims of crimes to cremate her dog. A Hall County grand jury accusing the county's longtime solicitor general of betraying the public trust, charging Stephanie Woodard with 13 counts of false statements and writings and 11 counts of theft by taking, all felonies. It's a staggering fall from grace by a top prosecutor, but Woodard pushing back in a statement released by her attorneys saying, the decision by the attorney general's office to institute charges against her in this absurd indictment is unfathomable and a waste of court time and taxpayer dollars. Attorney General Chris Carr, once on a first name basis with Woodard, calling in the GBI on her in late 2022. The probe launched after a Fox 5i team investigation discovered thousands of dollars budgeted to help crime victims, instead spent by Woodard on herself or family members. A grand jury has indicted Hall County Solicitor General Stephanie Woodard on multiple charges of theft by taking and false statements. Woodard's 24 count indictment unsealed Tuesday afternoon follows a year and a half of investigations by Fox 5 I team into her spending. You go Fox 5 I team. You know, there are a lot of investigative like little news organizations I've learned in, in uh, Illinois and in Georgia. Uh, and that might be an artifact of how apparently corrupt both states are. Uh, so there's a market for that. But here's my thing. Tiffany Henyard is loud, right? Uh, the judge, Christina Peterson, she was loud and outrageous, right? We just did a video on her. Um, who else do we have? Uh, it's, so we got um, Tiffany Henyard. She's loud. We got Christina Peterson. Uh, and now we got this lady, okay, Woodard, Woodard, Stephanie Woodard. She is spending money on cremating pets. These are loud people, right? What about all of the corruption that's undercover, that's being committed by politicians who at least know better than to be ostentatious, right? I bet you there are a lot of them out there. For every Tiffany Henry, I bet you there's a politician, there's two or three who know how to keep their mouth sh shut, okay? Which is scary, which is really scary. And so that's why I take my hat off to Fox 5 I team down there because we need, we need more investigative uh, news organizations like that. But you know what? We here at YouTube, we do a great job of it as well. So we'll continue to do that because you know, I believe that when these people get out here and spend taxpayer money inappropriately, okay, start cremating dogs, their dog with taxpayer money. Okay. And going on all kinds of trips and pork chop sandwiches and this, that, and the other buying $150,000 Chevy Tahoe's. Mm -mm, I got a problem with that. I have to pay those taxes just like you do. We are compelled. They'll come to us and say, if you don't pay your taxes, we'll throw you in jail. We'll confiscate your property. So you damn right. I'm going to turn the tables and say, if I've got to pay, if I'm compelled to do that, then I'm going to keep an eye on you. Okay. And we're going to bring as much attention as we can. The soldiers are going to share it. They're going to like it. They're going to subscribe. And we are going to eventually create an environment where politicians understand that they're serving the public trust, not themselves. All right, Woodard, she's a Republican, 
became Hall County's solicitor in 2008. Don't think that this stuff is not bipartisan. All right. So as a solicitor, she prosecutes low-level crimes such as DUIs and simple battery. Now she's defending herself against far more serious allegations that while prosecuting misdemeanors, her allegations, her charges are felonies. The Hall County, <laughs> and let me put her mugshot back up. That's why she looks like this. Because uh, when you get hit with all these felonies, oh man, jail cell might be in your future. And uh, I don't think Miss Woodard is um, ready for that. The Hall County Grand Jury accused her of 13 counts of false statements and writings, false statements and writings, and 11 counts of theft by taking all felonies. In total, she's accused of illegally taking nearly $4,200 from public coffers, okay? Now, some might say, oh, it's only 4200 No, 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 no. That probably would have ballooned to 10 times that amount or more if she had been allowed to continue to do it. Once she showed the propensity to dip in to this account, uh, she probably had no plans on stopping. It is a staggering fall from grace by a top prosecutor. Can you imagine meeting up with somebody in the joint that uh, you put there? <laughs> that wouldn't go over well, right? Woodard, though, is pushing back. In a statement released by her attorneys, Marissa Goldberg and Drew Findling, they wrote, the decision by the Attorney General's office to institute charges against her in this absurd indictment is unfathomable and a waste of court time and taxpayer dollars. Aren't they something to talk about a waste of taxpayer dollars when their client allegedly cremated her dog with taxpayer dollars? She absolutely committed no crime. You'd expect your attorney to say that, but yet she has been viciously pursued by the GBI for years, GBI, the Georgia um, Bureau of Investigations. Hall County solicitor uh, used public money for cremation, among other things. Let's say um, probe was launched in 2022, looking at uh, what she was out there doing. So in addition to the cremation of Rover, who they say this woman was tough to get along with, that she brought a lot of strife to the office. So it's a possibility that dog just voluntarily ran into traffic. And said, I got to get away from this woman. But nonetheless, she is alleged to have purchased expensive earbuds, noise reducing headphones, and pillows. So if she was doing that kind of thing, man, it was like this was her own personal little piggy bank. The I team also found spending on jewelry repairs and antique shopping sprees, even baseball caps, okay, for the governor's. Uh, for the governor's uh, re-election bid or election, um, which, hey, look, he didn't know what it meant. I don't even know Brian Kemp like that. I don't vote for him, support him one way or the other, but who the hell knows where the bumper stickers and the lawn signs and the t-shirts come from, right? The solicitor even spent public money cre uh, cremating her dog, the investigation found. Rick Farmer of Precious Memories, crematory. She even allegedly spent public money cremating her dog. Rick Farmer from Precious Memories Crematory remembers the $190 expense well. He said that GBI took his statement. And it was paid to me for her dog. All right, so Fox 5's uh, investigation also re revealed that uh, she spent $7,000 on meals for herself and her staff. Uh, wow. A lot of money. wonder where they were frequenting. I'd like to tell you, though, um, Solicitor Woodard, God, they don't serve $7,000 meals in where you're going. Maybe. Okay, you never know. She's got a right to a defense, and she also has the uh, expectation that we look at her situation and look at her as not guilty until proven otherwise. A corrupt prosecutor how can you sleep at night when you know that you are putting people in jail 
Not saying they don't deserve it. Okay. One of the things she prosecuted was battery. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm not privy to any of her cases, but how can you then go out and spend money that you know belongs to this victim's fund? Well, I guess, uh, We'll find out as more information comes out about this. Look, it seems like the judicial folk are just losing their minds, man. We got Sandra Dorley up in uh, New York. I'm going to do, this is a rare case where I can do two call outs here at the end of the show. Sandra Dorley. Okay. And then we've got a judge in Atlanta. Sandra Dorley's in New York. This judge in Atlanta, she was just canned. Because she didn't know how to act, all right? Waste of taxpayer dollars in that her salary was being paid out of our coffers for her to act like a jackass. Guys, I'll talk to you soon.